So, today I wanted to talk about, don't judge me because I'm wearing a headset, alright? I just, okay, if you don't want me to wear it, just tell me later. But I want to talk about The Incredibles getting a sequel because that's making me happy. I'm going to close the door because, I don't know, that's making me excited because... Oh, the Incredibles! That was like my favorite movie, and it's been ten years. They didn't get a sequel forever because I don't know. Cars was much more important. They're getting a, a third one, even though the second one was so bad. First one, don't don't get me started. I mean, it wasn't well, it wasn't great or anything, but at least it was it had cars in it. It was this one was just like this. Anyways, Incredibles two. Been looking forward to it forever, baby. But uh, I'm a little worried that it might they might screw with it. I mean, Brad Bird's coming back. The same guy who did the first one is gonna come and he's gonna he's gonna make it and he's gonna make it his his brainchild and go. <laughs> but you know, you never know what could happen. They could be like, you know what? Let's make them all have mustaches. That'd be fun. Man, be kooky. I mean, you don't know. They might try and recycle the same plot, but Brad Bird... I don't think I've ever heard of Brad Bird doing a sequel to a movie he did before. So, I mean, does he know how to do a good sequel? You don't know. I mean, he knows how to make a good movie. Let's hope he makes good sequels. You know, a lot of people are saying that they want real time to pass. I'm not so sure that I want exactly real time to pass because, well... I don't know. I'm not sure. It, I, I don't care very much about that. I think if they, I don't. I think it would not work very well if they decided, oh, only a half a year passed or uh, three days passed. We might have some issues. But the guild managed to pull it off. They did a season every year, but only mo days, more not no more than a week ever had passed between each season of the guild. And the Avatar with the Legend of Korra. Is that a reboot or a spinoff or what? What do you call that? I just call I would just call it season four of the Avatar because they deserved a season four because it just kept going. But I digressed. I digressed. Okay. Um. I want. I just want it to be good. I think maybe a prequel might work. Although they did show us a lot of the people's past, and I don't want to see. Oh, what was happening when the kids, when they were younger, that'd be obnoxious. And even the kids would be like, can I go do something else now? Yeah, goodbye. Uh, I, I mean, future would work, although real time, I don't think that's necessary. It could, it could add to the experience, but who knows? Um, great, someone's in the house yelling. Uh... I, I don't. Uh, some people want the characters to do some, have some arcs, you know, like one of the kids being a villain. I think that seems a little overdone, if I'm going to be totally honest. Um, I kind of want to get more into uh, I don't. I want to get more into what happens right after that, you know. A couple of months, six, seven months passed, even though it's been ten years since the last movie. Let it go, people. Uh, what happens? Is, are there... Did... Uh, he... Did superheroes come back, or did they go right back into hiding? What happened? Is somebody going to go all X-Men on it? I don't know. I kind of... I'm a little... I want... I'm expecting something new from... Him. I feel like he's he's going to step it up a notch. I hope he does, at least. And try something completely not done before. No X-Men thing where they're trying to get rid of them superheroes. They came back, even though we passed some laws, and said, No. No, we should kill you. Nah, that sounds too X-Men-y. Maybe we should go in a route that no one thought of before. And you be, like, this great creative person. Then again, that's a big risk to just try something that no one has ever tried before. But... The Incredibles was uh, something really cool. And I'd hate for The Incredibles to just kind of be brought back to copying other superhero, um, what is that, a trope? Copying other superhero tropes? And like, this was more of like a parody of the superhero tropes, you know, making fun of the capes and things like that. 
I, I, I don't know what to, I don't know what to expect from it. I want I want you to tell me what you want to expect from it. I I, I don't know. Maybe we get some more insight into Frozone or what happened. Like, are are we gonna like be some laws against it? Maybe Syndrome comes back to life. Who knows what happens? What do you want to happen? Do you want anyone to dance? Because I like dancing. Uh, so leave your comment. Tell me what you think should happen in Incredibles two, and have a happy birthday. What do you want me to say? It's not your birthday. Well, I guess come see me again in six months. Bye.